Hi you guys, um, I wanted to make a quick haul video, um, if you know what a haul video is, and where's my hairbrush? I think someone, no, no one stole it, it's very cute. Okay, so, <laughs> I know this is going to be like a really, really stupid haul, I know that, um, but I haven't made a haul before, um, at least not on this account, actually ever, so. You guys will see my first haul video, and I should have another haul video in a little while. Um, probably soon. Um, because I ordered my first Coastal Scents um, 88 color palette today. Um, and it's $18.99 or something like that. And then it's $7.50 plus shipping if you're in the U.S. Um, I do believe they ship internationally, so... I don't think you should have a problem there, um, but they I might they might not. I don't really know. Um, I know that they're based um, in the U.S. So uh, anyway, um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick haul view on just stupid things that I buy at Walmart because I can. And what's funny is that oops, sorry, that everything I have here is only like I don't know. I think the most expensive thing is like nine dollars out of all the things that I have here. I bought a lot of other stuff from Walmart, um, but they were, you know, like household items and I don't think you want to see my um Febreze. So <laughs> um I bought this hairbrush today and I saw it because I don't have an actual hairbrush hairbrush. Um I have like combs and stuff like that because I haven't had long hair in a long ass time. Um this is the longest that it's been uh, since before I did my dreads, um, and it's getting a lot longer, oh, thank god, <laughs> um, because before this length, it was like, because I had dreads and it ruined my hair, so I had to cut them out, and that was as, as long as it could be without, um, being completely terrible, I don't know how to explain it, I don't know, I didn't want to go bald. So it was still pretty dead, but um, anyway, but I got this hairbrush today. It was like seven dollars, and it's got like, little pink, little pink bristles, with a pink fuzzy stuff. Look, I don't know how you couldn't like this hairbrush. It's just so awesome. It's got cute little grips, and it's awesome. I just like to brush my hair with it. It feels good to have a hairbrush again. I can't explain it. If you've ever had you know, long hair, and then it went, like, to a bob kind of short, um, and then it's growing out again. Something as simple as a hairbrush makes you happy because when you have short hair, you don't have a need for a hairbrush. Like, I just comb it out, and I hardly ever use hairbrushes. So, this is exciting for me. This is my first hairbrush that I've bought in, like, two years. So, that's exciting for me. Anyway, I also bought, uh, some hairspray from Nexus. It was in that like little dollar bin thing, you know, like when like the travel size stuff. And I don't know what it is about travel size aisles, but I just want to buy them all. Even like the boy stuff. I just want to buy it because I'm like, look how cute this is. It's so perfect. It's like this is what I imagine little people would get excited about, like because this to them is like a giant bottle of hairspray. Please don't be offended by this because I think you little people are so adorable and so awesome and I really I just want to give you guys a cyber high five for putting up with big people shit because you guys put up with a lot of shit. Anyway, so I got those two things. I think this is this is the most expensive little item that I got. Which is funny because it was like three dollars for this because it's Nexus. Anyway, next is salon formula, so that's like the only salon formula that, I think that's the only, probably the only actual legitimate salon formula that, um, Walmart has. Anyway, uh, and I smoke, so, um, when you, when you smoke your enamel and your teeth goes bad, and so I've been using Sensodyne, um, for a really long time, um, so... I finally found Sensodyne in Mini, and 
I just think they're so cute. So basically this hall is like a mini hall. It's like everything little. It's amazing. I just feel like a little person. I'm gonna make a video after this about my 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 big dream that I have for humanity. So check that video out after this. Right after you um submit to my Twitter. As soon as you follow me. Um I mostly follow people back. Like if they follow me, I'll follow them back. So just check that out. Anyway, but I got Sensodyne in little formula. Look how cute this is. Look, actually, I got two of them because I thought they were so adorable. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. It smells like Sensodyne. It's awesome. And it's extra whitening. What? Anyway. And then um, I was running well of this. This isn't in the dollar bin at all. And actually, I took it out of the pack. But it comes with like a little Buki brush, Kabuki brush. But it's like a really terrible Kabuki brush. So I use my own Kabuki brushes and I just throw, throw them away. Um, but in this case, I gave it to Renee. So, she didn't have one and she lost her, so I gave her mine. Anyway, I'm trying a new acne um, formula and I have the acne system. It's kind of like the Neutrogena version of Proactive. And since there's not really a Proactive kiosk around here, um, and I don't want to order it online or anything like that, I just... I kind of want the convenience of being able to go someplace and then get it, but uh, I decided I got that acne formula that's in my bathroom. It's kind of like the Neutrogena version of Proactive. I got that a while ago. So I figured I would try out um, some other stuff from the line. Um, it's oil-free acne stress control. So hopefully it'll help. It's the Power Clear Scrub. I don't know. I've just been getting a lot of acne lately. and. I don't even know why, and it's really irritating me, so I decided to try something else. Oh, also, this is in the dollar bin. This is in the to-go stuff. It's Neutrogena makeup remover because I needed some more, so I decided to get them. And I love Neutrogena. Neutrogena is really great. Um, body Cology uh, Hand Sanitizer uh -huh. in Brown Sugar Vanilla. Why wouldn't you want that in your belongings when you go places? I want it. And it smells so good. It smells like vanilla and brown sugar. Curious. <laughs> um, Johnson's baby powder. I don't even use baby powder really, but it was 90 cents, so I got it. Also, Johnson's baby lotion. I hope that oh no, it hasn't been hasn't been damaged. Anyway, Johnson's baby lotion. It's really, really great for your feet and your hands. I like it a lot. And for some reason, it's the number one choice for hospitals. What does a hospital use for... I don't know. Like, maybe when babies are born, they're like, Let me rub you down. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of creepy, though. But I don't know, whatever. Anyway. I mean, also, I got this a while back, but I didn't um, do a review on it or anything like that. This hard candy um, color is black. And they don't test on animals, so that was a big reason that I got it. Um, it says, we love our animal friends, we don't test our products on them. Um, I'm a big animal activist when it comes to makeup and stuff like that. Um, I don't usually buy makeup that um, tests on animals, I don't like it. Like, I think the Neutrogena doesn't do it either. That would be kind of weird if I did. Like, why would you? I don't understand, what are you going to do? Like, put nail polish on a dog? Or, what do you, I mean, are you going to, like lipstick on them? Why would you test on animals? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. It's weird, you know? I don't know. It's not saying if it does or not, which means it probably does. <laughs> it says allergy tested, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist? Ophthalmologist? Whatever. Anyway, so that's my haul um, that I got. It's nothing impressive, so please don't leave your hating comments with that was so open, because I don't really give a shit. <laughs> right, so check out my next video, because it's going to be about my life dream. Okay.